Okay, guys, <laughs> here I am, bearing my soul again. Here's step two of my color experience today. I am now, I thought about keeping the red, okay? Some people said, oh yeah, it looks so good. Some people said, no, go back to blonde. So here's the experience number two, experiment number two, okay? I didn't use the oops, okay? I said, let me try this because it was really light red. I didn't like it. So now I am, yeah, it's 11 something at night. I decide, let me try something else to tone down the red a little bit. So now I mix a medium brown, okay? And I have it all on my hair right now, medium brown. We're going to try to tone down the red just a little bit so it's not so pinkish red and... <sighs> Lord have mercy what I don't do to myself. Maybe my hair will fall out after these experiments. But if this medium brown doesn't work and give me some tone down the red a little bit, guess what I'm going to do, guys? I finally decided what I'm going to do. If this doesn't tone down the red just a little bit and make it a little bit like brown red, guess what I'm going for, guys? Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this silver gray which I think that would look pretty hot on me so you know you go from blonde you go to red you go to hopefully hopefully like a brownish red if it doesn't work the oops is going on tomorrow yes it is and somebody told me it's going to take everything out and then I'm going to do the silver gray what do you think that's that's pretty hot and shiny right so I'm going to be a gray woman. I got grays anyway coming through. So it will just match. It'll just be, uh, it says, smoky blue. So hopefully it's going to be a gray smoky blue. So that's my story right now. I'm going to leave this on for like 25 minutes and see what it does. Look at me. Here's my fresh phrase wrinkles. This is Mama 40, old Mama 40. Yeah. I go to my dad's today. <laughs> You never believe what I got to hear from him, besides his, all of his complaints. We're driving to um, the store to get a case of water for him. And what's he say? You know what my new complaint is today? I said, what, Dad? I got an itchy ass. Do I really need to hear that my father's got an itchy ass? So what do I say to him? Well, scratch the ass. What, what would you like me to say? Would you like me to scratch your ass with it? No, I'm not going there. I do enough of stuff for him. I cut his toenails. I massage his feet. And I can gag when I cut his toenails. I mean, I hate to do it, but I do because I love my dad. I cut my husband's toenails. But, so I also cut my dad's. So when he tells me today he's got it, his ass is scratchy, I said, Well, maybe you don't get all the shit out. No, I wash my... <laughs> No, I wash my ass all the time. Well, maybe you don't get all of it out, so then you got to itch your ass. Maybe you got to wash it a little bit better. Ah, uh, too much information for me that I really don't need to hear that you got to itch your ass. Well, maybe I got to start putting some cream on it. Well, you go home and you put some cream on it, okay? Because I don't want to hear. So later on, he calls me up and tells me, well, guess what? I know why I got an itchy ass. Why do you have an itchy ass, Dad? <laughs> Lord have mercy. What what I have to hear every day in my life. Well, when I went home and I wiped my ass, there was a little bit of dry shit there. Well, that's why you got an itchy ass, Dad. I mean, I know you guys don't want to hear this crap either, but this is what I hear in everyday life. All this freaking shit. I, yeah, shit. That's what he had in his hair. Till he cleaned it out. And he said, now I feel much better. I said, very good. I'm so happy for you that you got the shit out of your ass. <laughs> and now it's not itchy no more. Okay? Guys, I'm telling you, my life is filled with adventure, laughs, fun. I don't know what else to tell you, but this is me. Mama Forty, she got the stories for you all the time. Oh, yeah. Itchy ass, not itchy ass. Hair mistakes, funniness. I'm mad at my son, Nicola Fodi, because he
He's never calling me. I got to call him and yell at him and say, what the frick is going on? Did you forget all about me because you live in California now? When I get over there, you know, he's supposed to come visit me in March. We're going to see. But I'm going to be calling him one of these days, and you guys are going to be listening because I'm going to kick his ass. Tell him, where's Mama Fody? we got to do a video soon. I love you. I miss you, but, <clears throat> you know, give me a call once in a while. You know, I, I worry about you. I want to know where you are. I don't know where you are. You could be in the freaking up hiking in the woods somewhere. Maybe a lion ate you. I don't know, but for now, guys, we're going to see how this turns out. So tomorrow you'll have another video of me. Hopefully, the red has toned down just a little bit. Somebody told me that um, that I little I look a little bit cheap with the red hair. My friend from Hilltop, I agreed with her. I think I look like a cheap whore. Hey, so if this don't work out, I'm going back to the sexy gray goddess. Peace out. Another story from me. Crazy me. Love yous. But tomorrow you're going to see me with the full makeup on. My dark eyes. My eyeliner. My mascara. My face will be done. Not this ugly person that you see here. Okay? You're going to see me. The beautified me. Okay? Bye. You know what I say? Peace out. Ciao. Arrivederci. Bye.